Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Wood and I'm going to be discussing the consequences of domestication of animals and the transference of diseases from animals to humans. Due to the success of early hunters, many of the large-bodied mammals that humans lived off of became extinct. Ancient humans had to readjust their habits and search out other foods that could sustain their growing numbers. Because it was difficult to feed many with the small game available to them, humans had to become omnivorous like their primate ancestors. They found new ways to eat vegetable matter to make it more digestible through grinding, fermenting, and cooking. Domestication of plants and animals occurred through deliberate and accidental selection of specific traits. This led to a selection of humans as well. Those that did not succeed or attempt to domesticate plants and animals simply could not survive. Domestication caused groups of humans to settle down in one place and also required more coordination amongst groups of humans. Authoritative leadership was needed to manage the maintenance of crops and irrigation canals, and so early civilizations were formed. This was a time of success for not only humans, but also parasites. By shortening the food chain and multiplying a restricted number of plants and animals, humans created an environment that allowed parasites to flourish. Many infectious diseases during this time were transferred from animals to humans. These are also known as zoonotic diseases. Most of the animals that humans domesticated probably had infectious diseases that caused no more than mild symptoms. This is because a lot of these animals naturally existed in herds before being domesticated, which provided good conditions for infections to become endemic. Initially, humans had no immunity to these diseases. It is probable that there was heavy die-off of hosts and disease organisms repeatedly until humans acquired immunity or the parasite adapted so that the infection could switch from epidemic to endemic. Eventually, these parasites successfully transferred to the human population and established an ongoing relationship with their host. Most zoonotic diseases were from domesticated animals, such as pigs, cows, horses, and sheep, because they were in closest contact with humans. Many common infectious diseases that affect humans have a lot of similarities to diseases affecting domesticated animals. For example, measles is likely related to rinderpest that affects cattle. Smallpox is closely tied with cowpox. And humans and pigs share influenza. But domesticated animals are not the only source of zoonotic diseases. Infections can be spread from wild animals as well. For example, the bubonic plague was spread to humans by rats. Yellow fever was spread from monkeys, and rabies can be spread from bats. Zoonotic diseases still affect humans today all over the world. So my question to you is, how do people protect against zoonotic diseases today in the United States and around the world? Could these methods be improved? And if so, how could they be improved?